of tea. As most people in the UK now know, it's starting to get a little bit cold, so I was going to run you through what's in my Autumn 2020 kit bag. So first of all, Northcore kit bag, pretty good. And then, to start with, Gala Sport Slalom helmet, a smiley nose clip. Sandy line, low profile freestyle slash slalom buoyancy aid with a, I think, a £10 decathlon watch, which has lasted a very long time. Most people know I am sponsored by Sandy Line, and I will say with my hand on my heart that I truly love the kit. If I was to walk into a shop and buy my own kit, 100% it would be Sandy Line. Winter's too cold and life's too short to wear a kit that leaks and is cold and wears out quickly and is cheap and nasty, so I am so grateful that I get to wear some of the best kit on the market and these are my favourite items this is what I wear most freestylers live in CAG decks so for K1 I mostly wear a small full latex keyhole deck cosy comfortable love it then for C1 I wear this Otty custom sized keg deck or I would just wear a standard medium. This one's got an extra long tunnel because I think I'm a little bit long bodied. Full latex, keyhole, keeps me dry, is amazing. Then for most people who know me and kayak with me, you know that I literally live in near Queen Strides. These are full length half mil. I also use the thicker versions but I think they might be in the washing machine right now. So these and then three quarter strides which I absolutely love I live in these like 90% of the year summer, winter they're so versatile and I really love them then what's this? thermals Sandy and I make this really nice Polartec thermal top it's really fluffy on the inside uh, and super warm so I wear a small and then I have a couple of mediums so that when it's really really chilly I put a medium over the top and then I'm super cosy and then sandy line freestyle boots these fit in play boats easily they do for my feet anyway um, really good really grippy I like them and then for most people this really only applies to the girls but I see a lot of my friends and people just wearing swimming costumes when they go kayaking so under their dry suits under their keg decks and it seems nuts in my opinion you're doing a sport so dress for the sport and yeah I really recommend just buying like a simple sort of sports bra this is I think the Nike swoosh totally worth the investment it's a sport at the end of the day I'm not a big believer in swimming costumes under dry suits. And then neoprene socks for when it's a little bit chilly. And elbow pads. I've had this set probably around four or five years. And they are amazing. I've had no elbow issues. I wear them every time I kayak. Really good. And then what else have we got? In the pocket we've got earplugs these are surf plugs custom built earplugs uh, that 100% worth the investment if you can't afford surf plugs I recommend just a cheaper pair of earplugs that will just keep the water out your ears especially if you're hiking in the winter read some blogs watch YouTube videos it's like a horror story I don't want surfers ear and I'm pretty sure anyone who's got it or has had it will tell you wear earplugs even if it's blue tack or something like that must be better than nothing and then something I found recently are these silicon toe socks I've started wearing them under my booties on my toes which get crushed so my big toe and the little toe next to my big toe and they stop it from getting bruised uh, stop the bumps from like inflaming and my feet haven't bled in quite a long time so that's always good and yeah, oh, and one last thing. Don't forget your towel. 
A poncho towel for girls makes life so much easier in the car park, especially with COVID, the changing rooms are shut, so definitely a worthwhile investment. And then also I don't like seeing bums in the car park, so get yourself a towel, stop changing behind your spray deck, it's a bit weird. So yeah, bye bye.